For thousands of years, Indigenous Australians have looked to the southern sky as a way of making sense of the land. They have dreaming stories that explain tides, eclipses, the rising and setting sun and moon, and the changing positions of the stars and planets throughout the year. Australia's Southern Hemisphere location and landmass allows for low levels of ambient light and electromagnetic interference, which gives us a unique connection with the sky. Our geographic location, coupled with our technical capabilities, made Australia an ideal site for the earliest space tracking stations. NASA's first tracking station outside the USA for Earth-orbiting satellites, deep space probes and human spaceflight was established near Woomera in far north South Australia. Named after a device used by Aboriginal Australians to launch spears, Woomera was hub of Australia's earliest space activities. The Woomera rocket range was initially established in the 1940s, shortly after World War II as a vast outdoor weapons testing facility. Although space travel was considered science fiction at the time, the range was set up. The specialised skills in missile and tracking technologies developed there to support its operations would make Woomera the home of Australia's first connections with space. As we did thousands of years ago, we continue to look from Earth to space, but now we also look down from space, studying the Earth driving innovations that improve lives around the world. With its remote desert location, Woomera was ideal for testing satellite launches and a destination in the 1960s for international organisations to test rockets. And in 1967, Australia became one of the earliest nations to build and launch from South Australia its own satellite into orbit. And in the years to come, an Overseas Telecommunications Commission ground station was positioned at Sejuna, on the west coast of South Australia, which for 25 years played a vital role in connecting Australia to Europe via satellite. In 1996, South Australia proudly turned on its lights as a local-born Dr Andrew Thomas conducted his first mission to space in the Space Shuttle Endeavour. And in 2010, South Australia being an ideal location for space activity, provided the landing site for the first spacecraft to return asteroid materials to Earth. More recently, at the International Astronautical Congress in Adelaide in 2017, Australia made a major announcement. And so I'm pleased today to announce that the Australian Government will be establishing a national Australian space agency. In December 2018, the government announced that Adelaide would become home to the Australian Space Agency. What a tribute to South Australia's contribution to the nation's space journey and a great addition for the innovation and technology hub being created in Adelaide CBD, Lot 14. In February 2020, the Australian Space Agency and the SmartSat Cooperative Research Centre officially opened their headquarters at Lot 14 and a Mission Control Centre and Space Discovery Centre will open in 2021. South Australia has a proud history in space and is now home to a vibrant cluster of space-related organisations, educational and research institutions, companies and startups. We are seizing the opportunity to grow a globally respected Australian space industry that lifts the broader economy, improves the lives of Australians, and inspires the next generation of space leaders.